Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Naira from Phantom Production and today in this video I want to show you how to create a good recording chain. In this video we are going to use Avalon to do our chain. We use Avalon as our preamp. Most of the time in the Pro Studio you will see the microphone being connected to a preamp, a preamp to an EQ, from an EQ to maybe a compressor before it enters the audio interface and is printed to the door. But we don't have all that outboard analog gear, we still want to mimic that sound. So today I want to use Avalon to create a recording chain. This preamp is a good preamp. Compressor is damn expensive. So for now I cannot afford Avalon. There's a plugin which was modeled after Avalon and is really close to the sound of Avalon. This is the Avalon preamp 737. So there are a lot of sites that you can get the Avalon preamp compressor. Universal Audio has their own and you can get it for free. What we want to do with this is we are going to try to go through it and set it so our vocal can sound a little bit different from the real sound. So we will have to set our Avalon so we'll hear the difference in which you can get our uh, mic to sound good. So this is Avalon, so I'm monitoring in. So let's set it and see if we can get a difference from it. This is the high pass section. So we'll leave it here. So we should clean that low rumble from our microphone. Actually, I want to use this Avalon in the sense that I don't want to increase but the makeup gain because I've already increased the preamp on my audio interface to hit this level that I don't saturate. So I'm pushing this preamp gain a little bit. I'm pushing it so you add that harmonics and that texture that saturation a little bit so the next thing we'll do is to let's work on the compressor so i have the release medium around there then the attack i want it to be fast so let's set the ratio here have it around four here so i don't want a variation in the output volume so let's compress it a bit this is signal that i'm getting so I want to observe if I'm having some compression. So the next thing I will do is uh, play around with the EQ section a bit. Maybe I'll drop down this preamp a little bit. So right away, this is the signal I'm getting. So I'm monitoring here. So let's push up the treble. So maybe I'll push the high mids a little bit so I'll have a presence. Then the low, low mid frequency here. You can just go around. Okay, maybe we'll let's say three and bring down it, bring it a bit. So I don't want to do drastic move because I will still process it in my door or when I'm mixing my vocals, I will still process the vocal. If I'm doing a voiceover, I will still come here at this bass section. You know, voiceover at times I will have to add the bass. Maybe I'll come here like this around 60 and increase it a little bit i will not do this if i'm recording a singing vocal but if i feel that the vocal is too thin i'll boost it so now this is a signal we are getting with the avalon so i'm monitoring it i don't know how it sounds but i think it's okay with what i'm hearing from my headset so let's remove the avalon so now this is a signal without the avalon Let's put it back on. So now this is a signal with the Avalon. So this is a signal I'm getting with the Avalon without. Now I'm speaking into my microphone without the Avalon. So let's listen now with the Avalon. So this is a signal I'm getting now with the Avalon preamp. We can just record something and see if we have any difference. Let's record. Hello and welcome to this mic test. Right away, I'm speaking into my microphone with the Avalon on. Let's record without the Avalon. Okay, now I'm recording into my microphone without the Avalon. I wanted to do this so we can hear the difference with the Avalon without Avalon. So this is the signal we are getting now without the Avalon. As you see, I'm monitoring it. So let me just put back the Avalon. 
So now let's talk and see how it sounds with the Avalon. So if we listen with the Avalon, it's clean and those low rumbles are not there and it's kind of clean. So let's listen to the sound that we have just recorded. This is without and with. So let's listen to it. Hello and welcome to this mic test. Right away, I'm speaking into my microphone with the Avalon on. Let's listen to the other without the Avalon. Now I'm recording into my microphone without the Avalon. I wanted to do this so we can hear the difference with the Avalon without Avalon. So let's listen again with the Avalon. Hello and welcome to this mic test. Right away, I'm speaking into my microphone with the Avalon on. If you listen now with the, you will hear the difference in the recording. The changes are really slight. So this is the type of changes that I want. So my recording can sound clean whenever I want to record. So I will sound clean. If I feel that I need more saturation, I can just go here, increase it a bit so I will have that saturation. So we are monitoring it real time. So I have that saturation. If we want to go further, we can add another compressor. So we can just add a tube text it won't be compressor. So that your vocal will sound consistent and also compete in your in the mix. This is just to create a chain which your vocal will sound consistent. So whenever you want to record, let it sound consistent. Even if the singer or the performer is at the loud peak, the dynamics will be tamed. So it won't sound so obvious. So what this will help you is uh, it will ease your work that you will not do too much of the uh, automation when you want to do editing. So let's listen how this uh, one b can add a character or change the tune of our recording. The Avalon is already doing a good job with the compressor. But I still want to tame it. This is just a setting. This setting that I'm doing now, I'm setting it while I'm speaking. But if I'm to sing or somebody to perform, it will not be in this talking stage. You know, when you are singing, sometimes you go higher and lower. So that's why you can just add another compressor for consistency. Let's compress. Let's have a fast attack. We can leave the release like that. Let's do a, a minimal ratio. This one is still 4 to 1. We can still step it down because we don't want to hear that much compression. So now let's push on our threshold and be watching our needle until we start seeing some compression happening. So I'm still speaking and I'm seeing some compression happening already. So when you look here, you will see compression happening. That's just what we wanted in our mix. If we want more gain, you just push this input gain. But know that while you are, you are pushing it up, also know that you are also increasing the noise floor. So most of the time, I don't do that. I just increase the input knob or the preamp gain in my audio interface. So I can just leave this here. So my noise floor would not be obvious. But if the noise floor is high, I can still go back and add in an expander or a gate. So let's just try this free gate. So let's set this gate. I don't want a really fast attack. Let it just be here. Then maybe we'll take this down a bit. So we want something that whenever we are quiet, the gate will block any incoming signal. Okay, I think the signal is clean already. That's just how you can set your chain. So let's say this is a chain and this is a voiceover while I'm talking already. And I'm maybe about seven inches away from the microphone. Now I'm having some latency issue here. That's why it's kind of a little bit confusing while I'm speaking. Okay, but you have the issue. So if you want to reduce the latency issue, you can just go to this and reduce it here. So I think it's better now. That's how you can have a good signal with just that simple process. So let's see what we've done here. We added our Avalon. So it will be as if our mic is plugging to the Avalon from the Avalon to our T-Tech Zombie compressor. Then we just added that noise gate for noise floor. This is the Avalon chain. You can try it out. So in your own, you want to sing. If you want to sing, you can just play with the EQ a little bit, but it's good that you do very minimal changes. So because it's something that you will still process in your 
in your mixing process, you will still have to do EQ and other stuff. So you don't have to do much here. Just do little move. So this chain, you can get it so easily. Tip test one b you can get it from this one. You can see there are a lot of sites that you can get it. You can get this one, but this one is from Soft Tube. Universal Audio has their own. There are a lot of manufacturers that have their own. Avalon, you can get it for free. Just Google it. You can get it for free. And this album get is also free. So thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and also hit the notification bell. So whenever I upload content, you won't get to miss out. Just try it out.